long-awaited South Vietnamese national election brings out almost five million voters. U.S. observers include Governor Hughes of New Jersey and Urban League leader Whitney Young. President Johnson sent a 22-man observer team to ensure the honesty of the election. Despite well-publicized threats of Viet Cong terror tactics, 83% of the nation's registered voters flock to the polling places to cast their ballots. Ten civilian candidates for president oppose the military ticket of Van Thieu and Key. However, Thieu wins the presidency and former Premier Key the vice presidency, with a vote total almost twice as much as the runner-up. Eight unsuccessful candidates file charges of fraud, requesting new elections. Saigon's National Assembly is expected to certify the vote as honest and valid. Truong Dinh Tzu, surprisingly strong peace candidate, finishes second, but promises to fight the results as unfair. South Vietnam chooses Thieu and Key to guide the future destinies of its newly elected government. Sweden decides to switch from left to right. It has nothing to do with politics, you understand, but it's quite important if you plan to drive. Swedish motorists, accustomed to left side of the road driving, join the growing trend throughout Europe to cross over to right side traffic flow. A carnival atmosphere prevails in Stockholm as crowds await the five o'clock zero hour. Police were aided by some 150,000 traffic leaders who kept reminding drivers to move to the right. Temporary speed limits help the smooth changeover. Even television cameras showed home viewers how orderly the switch was accomplished. Sweden's decision leaves Iceland, Ireland and Britain the only European country still driving on the left. A new chapter in the controversial history of the Berlin Wall. East German workers spray white paint on the barrier to provide a bright background at night, discouraging further would-be escapees. Some 250 East Germans have fled across the border, but hundreds of others have died in the attempt during the six years of the wall's existence. Japanese naval training ships visit Newport for a three-day courtesy call at the U.S. naval base there. Four destroyers make up the squadron, now on a four-month voyage. Some 1,200 officers and men parade through the city streets as part of the official program of welcome. The small fry love it as the visiting crews step out smartly. The statue of Commodore Perry looks down on ceremonies during which base commander Admiral Means Johnston presents his greetings and gifts to squadron commander Admiral Hoshino. The visitors lay a wreath at the Perry Memorial, and later both American and Japanese crewmen assembled for a series of work and play sessions. East meets West, hosted by the Navy at Newport. Pierre Cardin chooses Versailles to showcase his winter collection. A striped coat of thick woven wool has the added luxury of fur trim. A dramatic cape coat swoops to a point in back and has military braid trimming. It covers an elegant evening dress liberally sprinkled with sequins, literally a sparkling ensemble. Something different and very short, an afternoon coat, diagonal stripes in back, horizontal stripes in front. Stepping out of the greenhouse, a very special evening dress. It's a variation of the popular caftan. What looks like a gigantic spring is really a modern hat, topping a futuristic space-age cocktail dress. A bold silver metallic belt highlights this astronaut-influenced outfit. Matching boots end just below the knee. Our stylish cutie in the space dress has to rush, maybe to a way-out cocktail party. Recording star Vincent Bell warms up an instrument which is creating excitement in today's popular music world. It's an electric sitar invented and designed by Mr. Bell. It produces the new exotic eastern sound first introduced by the Beatles. Stand by for a take. This electrified sitar is easy to play. 
If you play guitar, you can play the sitar. Mr. Bell demonstrates recording Happy Feeling for a new Decca album. Technicians watch closely for proper balance and reproduction of the electric sitar's big sound. of the electric sitar, latest thing in pop music. <laughs> 